The Pirates of Scurvy Sands, starring the Jolly Rogers, written by Johnny Duddle. Matilda lived in Dullon Sea, a charming seaside town. It's bleak in the midwinter, but in summer, folk come down to frolic in the sea and play in the arcades, to sizzle in the midday sun and dig with plastic spades. Matilda had a pen friend who sailed the scurvy sea, a pirate boy named Jim Lad. He sent letters to the quay. They arrived in old green bottles, bunged up with a cork. Jim didn't have a phone. It was the only way to talk. Dear Tilly, we're going on a voyage, a special pirate trip. We'll pick you up tomorrow. Can you come aboard our ship? We'll be sailing through the darkness, a whisper in the night. I'll see you shortly after dawn by the early morning light. Love, Jim Lad. Can I go to Scurvy Sands? Matilda asked her dad. Oh, um, I suppose you could. Those pirates aren't so bad. Matilda packed her swimsuit, some shorts and summer tops, her toothbrush, snorkel, suntown lotion and her new flip-flops. At dawn, Matilda's parents took her to the harbour side, past the yachts to where the Jolly Rogers ship was tied. Arr, Matilda! Jim Lad yelled, swinging on a rope. He landed thud beside her and said, Shall we elope? They skimmed across the ocean, three days beneath the sails. They sang sea shanties, played I Spy and made up pirates' tales. Land ahoy! yelled Jim Lad. I've spotted scurvy sands. Furl the sails, shake out a reef, hard port towards dry land. My name is Captain Holiday. I hope you'll all have fun. Make sure to slap ye lotion on before going in the sun. Ride on the Big Dipper, play upon the sand. Ye can get a brand new hook if ye lost ye hand. If ye like to dig, ye can search for Mad Jack's gold. Buried deep beneath the sand since the days of old. We've been digging here for years and years, but no one who've looked have found the treasure that Mad Jack McDuddle dropped into the ground. Er, uh, here's your scurvy chalet. It's made from broken ships. There's a good view of the ocean and a whiff of fish and chips. Tomorrow's morning cruncher club, bring ye pirate kids. They'll be grubbing shanties after dark and wrestling with the squids. They call me Ratface Rodney. I wear a crimson jacket. If you need a helping hook, just wave and make a racket. The Jolly Rogers dropped their bags and Jim's mum made some tea. What a lovely view and just a ship's length from the sea. Matilda, Jim and Nugget went to Crunchy Club. But amongst the other pirate kids, there was a big hubbub. I don't think she's a pirate, cursed Katie mumbled. The others all agreed with her, shook their heads and grumbled. That girl can't even read a compass. She doesn't know her east from her west. She don't know her port from her starboard. She won't pass the pirate test. Barnacle Bob, the lifeguard, sat straight and rubbed his eyes. He thought he'd seen a lubber, much to his surprise. But maybe it's a mermaid with this spyglass I can't see. I'm sure I see her swimming in the scurvy sea. Can she wield a cutlass? Is she good at digging? Can she shout oorah as she's swinging from the rigging? Philippa McCavity was shocked by what she saw. She was blinded by the sparkles as Matilda passed her door. Her teeth are clean, this will not do. I'd really like to pull a few. I'll feed her pop and candy floss and all the sweets I've got. I'll hide her pesky toothbrush that I'm sure her teeth will rot. Old man Grumps was pulling clumps of hair throw out his beard. My monkey friend can't find no lice but says her hair smells very nice. I ain't seen nothing like it, that little girl is weird. I'll muck up her gleaming nails, my scurvy nail bar never fails. Jim's dad's tummy rumbled. I need to eat some grub. I'm feeling rather peckish. Let's sit outside this pub. Do you want some hard track? Shark bargains, pickled eggs, seagull soup, dodo burgers, battered parrot legs. 
Matilda turned a little green and plumped for pasta bake, followed by a massive slice of crispy weevil cake. On a nearby table, Betty Barr was not impressed. Have ye seen the way that little girl is dressed? She don't like maggoty biscuits or shark brains steeped in brine. The girl's a fussy eater, she don't eat at all like mine. She's a bad example with her knife and fork. If mine learns table manners, all my pirate friends will talk. I don't think she's a pirate. She's clean and too polite. This ain't the place for lovers. It really isn't right. Captain Day called the Jolly Rogers to reception. We've had complaints, but as ye know, it's all about perception. Are ye sure that she's a pirate? I'm afraid it just won't do to bring lovers here to scurvy sands. She ain't part of ye crew. Encourage her to do some stuff to put their minds at rest. Dig for treasure. Fire a cannon. Take the pirate test. Look here, Matilda whispered. This portrait gives a clue. We'll need a compass and Jack's map. I know what we should do. I know my east from my west, I do. But Jack McCluddle never knew his left from his right or east from west. He didn't pass the pirate test. Follow me and bring a spade. I think you'll like the plan I've made. Reading Mad Jack's map, Matilda walked ahead. Jim Lad marched along behind her, listening as she read. To the west of scurvy sands, sank me ship with all its hands. I dragged me treasure chest ashore, where they shall lie for evermore. Why we heading east, said Jim, when Mad Jack's map says west. That's just it, Matilda said. Jack failed the pirate test. Using his mirror to check his tattoo, gave him a rather back to front view. I climbed along the jagged rocks and took me off me coat. I climbed across the jagged rocks, took off me coat and stripy socks. To drag the chest took all me strength, but drag I did a full ship's length. Four steps left and two steps right, now dig real deep with all your might. Hmm? Jim ran to join Matilda. Is the treasure near? X marks the spot, Matilda said. We need to dig right here. Jim and Tilda dug a hole and as soon as they heard a clunk, they found a hoard of treasure from the ship that sunk. Over 200 years ago in those days of old, when Mad Jack McCuddle buried his precious gold. She found old Mad Jack's treasure. Matilda is the best. She's an expert with a compass. She passed the pirate test. Matilda's got such glossy hair. I love her sparkly nails. I'm such a lover fan, you know. I'll miss her when she sails. Thank you for all my pirate trips. I've memories I'll treasure. Any toy, Matilda, it was a scurvy pleasure. The pirates wailed and waved goodbye. Oh, I cannot help but cry. They fired their cannons, flintlocks too, and watched Matilda fade from view.